Hey everyone, this is Mike and today we are back in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. As last week, Alatreon came out, or Alatreon as it's called in the English version. And yesterday me and my friends got together and finally got our first clear of the fight. Now, my two of my friends had already cleared it before. I had tried a little bit before as well, but wasn't able to get it down. And then we also had a friend that was completely new to the fight that ended up joining us. But after a couple of attempts, we were able to get it down. And then we also farmed it a little bit more in its opposite element. Because it starts out giving you the special assignment. Assignment, which is him starting in his fire form and then the other event quest that was on at the moment was for his ice form so he basically got to do both now when it comes down to this fight there are well there's a, only really one major issue I guess you could say that is making a lot of people struggle with this fight and that is the elemental DPS check so if you don't know how the fight works you need to do a certain amount of elemental damage to Alatrion because otherwise his ultimate move, Eschaton Judgment, is going to just destroy your group. There is a way for you to heal through a completely like full damage Eschaton Judgment if you want to go check out how to do that. Team Darkseid made a pretty good video on that. Um, but that is not something that you'll be able to consistently pull off even if you are playing with a group of four friends. So you basically want to be using elemental weapons in order to weaken him so that Eschaton Judgment does not kill you. Now, the main other problem that a lot of people are having is the fact that you also need to kill his horns or break his horns at a specific point of the fight because otherwise he's going to switch elements. Now, Alatrion has three different forms. You have an ice form, a dragon form, and a fire form when it comes down to what element he is in at the moment. Now, depending on what quest you are doing, he is going to start either in fire or ice. And depending on which form he is in, when he starts a fight, you want to be taking a specific elemental build to the fight itself. Meaning you take a fire build to the ice version and you take an ice build to the fire version as those are the strongest elements depending on what type he is in. Now, after he switches from ice to, for example, the dragon phase, because that is his second phase, his horns will become vulnerable. Now, the reason why you want to kill those horns during that dragon phase is to prevent him from switching elements, because, of course, if he goes from ice to dragon, then does Eschaton Judgment and then transforms into his fire form, all of a sudden your fire weapons are going to do fuck all elemental damage because you are fighting fire with fire, and that is, of course, very weak against it. And then you'll have a hard time meeting the elemental DPS check because of course you're doing no damage at all. And then the next Eschaton Judgment will just straight up kill you. So that's why you need to kill these horns because the horns prevent him from switching elements. So when he's in his first form you just do elemental damage with whatever type you're bringing. Either fire or ice depending on what form he starts in. Then once he switches into dragon form everybody should put their attention on the horns to try and break those. And then you just heal through Eschaton Judgment when that does happen. Now, a lot of people have been complaining about the fact that this DPS check is too hard or that breaking the horns is too difficult. And there's just a lot of annoying things about the fight. And I can see why that would be if you were to be soloing this fight. Because when you're soloing, of course, you need to do everything yourself. You need to have an elemental build ready. You need to focus the horns yourself. But there are a couple of different tricks that you can do. Now... When it comes down to this DPS check, it's actually not that bad at all. When I did the solo or when I tried to solo it on my bow for the first time, I was actually able to meet the DPS check really easily. And when I did it with my friends yesterday, when all four of us were using elemental weapons, we would sometimes even weaken him twice before the first Eschaton Judgment would even happen. And there were points where even when I switched to a raw damage build, because in the background that you're seeing the gameplay of, that is me using the Guild Palace weapon, that is just a raw damage build, I am not using an elemental weapon, and yet there were runs where we would still weaken it twice before the first Eschaton Judgment. So the elemental DPS check definitely isn't that bad. If you have like two people on elemental weapons, the other two can just run whatever they want um, and do like a raw damage build or whatever, because that will still work just fine. Now, when it comes down to breaking the horns, there is also a little trick that you can do, and that is just yeet him into the wall. When you just run him into the wall to just knock him down to the floor, that will actually do a crazy amount of damage to the head as well, and then make his horns super easy to break. So if you're doing the solo, save your temporal mantle or something for his dragon face and try to just smash him into the wall as soon as possible, and then you literally only need to tap the horns one more time and they'll just break relatively simple. Now, of course, the problem is that if he is enraged, you can't yield him into the wall, and that is where sometimes the problem starts to happen. For example, when I tried it the first time with my friends, uh, we were doing a three-man, so we would scale up 
up to four players, meaning it was a little bit harder for us. And we also didn't clear it back then. But there would be times where he was just constantly enraged when he was in his dragon form and we just wouldn't be able to yeet him into the wall and thus not break the horns. Eventually we switched over to some different weapons. Um, for example, one of my friends switched to the Switch X, which is really good for the clutch claw attack onto his face. I'm um, really strong against that. And basically we're able to break the horns relatively easily. Also, whenever you do weaken him, like for example when you meet that elemental DPS check, every time that you weaken him, he'll also fall to the floor for a couple of seconds. And then, actually a couple of seconds, there's a very long window where he remains vulnerable on the floor. So if you just equip some parse breaker decorations on your build and you just go to town on his face when he does fall down when you meet this elemental DPS check, uh, then you can basically do a lot of damage there and eventually after we cleared it for the first time we never really had any issues meeting either the elemental dps check or the breaking of the horns uh, we never really failed that the only reasons why we would fail the hunt is because we just died to damage that we just took in the face because either we weren't respecting the content or we were just like getting unlucky and getting stuck in a certain part of the map or something like that but overall i think this fight is pretty cool when it comes down to doing it as four players i definitely don't think it is as hard as trying to solo it because of course when you do go for a solo um, then you do need to break the horns yourself you need to bring the elemental weapons yourself as well uh, rather than being able to rely on other friends uh, in order to do some things for you as well overall if you want to try this fight i would just recommend you find some other people to do it with you um, because in a group scenario it's definitely a whole lot easier to clear uh, than when you're going solo i'm still going to try and attempt to clear this fight solo at some point because um, i do think the fight is really cool once you know all of the moves themselves as well, I think there are a lot of opportunities for you to do damage as well. Um, I'm probably going to be trying it with bow because bow is my favorite uh, elemental weapon when it comes down to just doing elemental damage. Um, so I'm probably going to be trying it with that. But we'll have to wait and see, who knows, maybe in a week's time or something there will be another video on the channel when I do finally solo it. And if not, then that means I just basically got fed up with it. Uh, and couldn't be asked to try to solo this anymore. There are also a couple of weapons that are pretty good. There's also some really cool looking weapons, like for example in the thumbnail of the video I was using the long sword. It is a freaking sight. Just looks fantastic. Um, and there's also a couple of armor pieces that are pretty decent for certain elemental builds, I believe. Um, I've also seen a very crazy build with the, what's it called again, the hunting horn, where it gets just a crazy amount of elemental damage and also the light bow gun has some really cool stuff that you can do with it so that's definitely one that i still want to get so far i have the bow as well as the long sword and the light bow gun is what i'm going after next and then it's still switch x and charge blade that i still kind of want to get but we'll have to wait and see when i get around to doing so if my friends are up to do the fight a little bit more i'll definitely end up joining them because i did have quite a good time doing this fight after you're kind of used to the move set and once you're kind of through the block that you might have when it comes down to the elemental DPS check and the horns and that kind of stuff. Once you're used to bringing those loadouts, once you're used to just going after the horns when he goes into dragon phase, the fight really isn't as bad as some people make it out to be. So yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to say in today's video. Alatrion, pretty cool new monster, very unique fight for Monster Hunter World because it does require you to bring those elemental builds and it does require you to go after those horns when he goes into the dragon stage. And I think it's just a pretty cool fight overall, definitely recommend people to give it a try. You might need to bring a little bit of extra preparation to the fight than you would in a normal Monster Hunter fight. But then once you are able to clear it, it is definitely going to give you a whole lot more satisfaction than you might get from a normal fight. But yeah, that's all I want to say for today. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank my patrons for supporting me. I don't think the gameplay is done at this point just yet. So I'm going to just let the rest roll out so you can see how we end up clearing it in the end. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be for me. I'll see you in the next one.
immediately.